All right. Let's see. Are we okay? Good. We're in. So why aren't people engaging in your business media, your business social media posts? So I'm going to share some more great tips from this book that I'm pulling today. And I want to focus on this problem, right? So you've got some kind of a great valuable thing to offer. And you know, it makes a difference in people's lives, but people aren't engaging in your posts to share it with them. And so ultimately you're like, oh, what do I got to do? I got to call everybody I know. Well, yes, that would help. But what I want to do is help you get more engagement in your social media posts because you're trying to do what? You're trying to find customers or business partners for your network marketing business. So if you're trying to find business partners for your network marketing business, I got something special to offer you at the end of this video. So stick around. I've got a great tip. So what I'm going to share with you are four, four things you can do, right? Ultimately, for those of you that network marketers, four things you can do to find business partners on social media. In particular, we're going to talk about why don't people engage in your social media posts. So I put up a, a Facebook post um, and, I, and I'll display this very clearly and easily for you. I put up a Facebook post. Um, in fact, I think what I'll do is I'll just actually share my screen. And what I want to do is I want to help people like legitimately. I want to help people make money online as fast as possible, but in a way that honors their core values and who they are. Right. So I, um, I put up a really great challenge. Um, that I'm actually right now, I'm looking for five people who are serious about this. And uh, I'll share with you all why you don't get in more engagement in your social media posts by me sharing with you. It's not about the post. So let me uh, share my screen. I think um, now I might have to create. Here, let me go ahead and create a whole new uh, thing here and I'll, I'll share exactly why. So what I'm going to share with you is two posts, one post that I got a ton of engagement in and another post I got some very interesting engagement in. All right. So let me share that with you. Um, uh, la, da, da, da. <laughs> in fact, I was going to do a video about this later, but now I'm just going to share it with you all. Let me show you what happens on my social media when I put stuff out there um, that'll help you understand how this works. Where is my, um, okay, hold on a second. Oh, here we go. Um, where is, uh, I should have had this. I'm sorry. I didn't have this, uh, queued up, but oh, here we go. So let me share my screen. All right. So check this post out. All right. Right here. See, it says, I want to prove anyone can plan, create and sell a course in just 30 days. Right? Like I'm actually putting together a challenge group that's going to start on April 15th. I really want to help you do this. Right? So if you're trying to figure out how to create a course and then sell it, create some passive income. You might want to go check out this post, but so let's take a look at this post in this post right here. Um, I got about 148 comments, right? So let me, sh let me move. I'm sorry. Let me, uh, let me move this out of the way. Okay. Oops. Did I just hold on? <laughs> okay. All right. So let me share. So right here, as you can see, as I'm going to scroll down, this is a lot of great engagement. A lot of people that are interested in uh, learning that, you know, wanting to do that. And I I legitimately have something amazing that'll work for you. And all these people that are commenting, they want it, right? So um, I, I wish I could bring the screen up a little bit bigger, but I can tell you right now, each and every one of these people are like, yeah, details, details. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. Okay. So now I took that exact same post, right? And I'm like, all right, this might be a pretty good post. Let's just see what happens. So I took this exact same post and I posted it on my uh, business page and I, uh, I put an ad in there. I, I, I put some money into it and I'm like, hey, let's see if I can generate some leads with a Facebook ad, right? Okay. <laughs> You're going to check this out. By the way, a little lesson in Facebook ads, y'all. Okay. So I put this up as a Facebook ad and I want you to show you now. Here it is. Same exact post, but I got a little bit more detail into it. I actually created this image on Canva. And so I want you to see over here what's going on here. <laughs> so let's see if I can make it bigger. Ah, uh, darn, I can't make it bigger. But I'm just going to go ahead and read the comments here. So we got one person that says, yeah, of course, I want to do this. The next person says course. And then this next person says, is this a cooking school? I need a course in how to make raviolis. Nice ad, by the way. It might be helpful if you stay with the blank, blank, blank you do. All right, cool. This person's going to coach me on how to do better ads. Totally understand. This person named Sean says, way to dunk on yourself there. Not quite sure what he meant by that. 
Uh, Micah Distel says he's trying to prove it for himself. He's hoping he can find five people stupid enough to listen to him. There you go. So that's a little different response there. Uh, this person named Alex says 30 days is BS. He uses the actual word here. Uh, real teachers can do that in 30 minutes. And then he says, ha ha. Okay. All right. Look at that. Uh, Cecile says, I think this Cecile was trying to type in uh, stupid or not. And there's another one here. I got to find it. This is probably my favorite. This person here, uh, this person named Dan Unger says, spammers suck woolly mammoth penile bone. I'm not quite sure uh, what a penile bone is. But apparently, spammers do that. They suck on those things. So what I'm sharing with you all is what it's not. A, I'm sharing with you all a principle, okay? It's not always about you. It's not always about, you know, uh, it's not always about the post. Like, you can have the greatest post ever. But if there's something you haven't done um, that ultimately leads to results, then, you know. Uh, you're going to have varying results when you put out posts. So I want to share with you, this is one of the reasons why people don't engage. It's simply because there's no trust built, there's no value built. And so what we want to do is spend our time building value, building trust. So you get more people saying, hey, I'm interested instead of people saying that you suck woolly mammoth, woolly mammoth penile bone um, and calling you a spammer, right? So that's the deal. Okay, so I'm going to share with you all some really great tips from this book. Uh, that was written by Ray Higdon and Jessica Higdon. By the way, Ray Higdon has also written two other books. Um, this one is Freakishly Effective Leadership for Network Marketers. And this book here he co-wrote with another group of people called Go For No for Network Marketing. So Ray is going to be teaching tonight. Uh, for those of you that are watching this live, he's teaching tonight social media scripts to help you get more engagement. Better than I did on that Facebook ad. So he's going to teach you how to get that. That's tonight. Make sure you get your tickets to my live event and you'll be able to engage in that. So let's get into the tips. So one of the things that Ray and Jessica talk about is to identify your audience. It's extremely important to know who it is you're talking to. So I'm going to pull it out of this book right here. And this is what he says. Identifying your prospects. Okay. Most people think of social media as an ocean filled with millions of prospects swimming around just waiting to be caught up in your net. Costing a wide net might feel like it's the most effective way to operate, but it's not. Remember, everyone is not right for you. Okay, we got to see that in my last post. They also said that, and you are not right for everyone. That's obviously true, and those people in that post would tell you and they agree. So to ensure there's no confusion, we're talking here about marketing. Marketing is done on purpose. You can prospect anybody at all, online or off. But from a marketing perspective, you want to be intentional about who you are trying to attract. So you don't go out on social media with the mindset that you are trying to reach everybody. Okay, so who are you trying to attract? For me, I want to uh, attract entrepreneurs who want to make more passive income online, but do it in a way that honors their strengths instead of trying to be something that you're not. So if that's you, comment below because you're the kind of person I want to help. I want to help you make money, but in a way that honors who you are so you can stop being something you're not. Okay, so identifying the audience, extremely important. Next, commit to delivering value. This is extremely important for me. When I first started building online, I didn't even actually know what I was doing. I was just desperate to help people feel like get some kind of result. I just wanted to be helpful. So I would share tips constantly and talk about things every single day. And that was it. I was just committing to delivering value. I didn't know that this is what you had to do. I didn't know that. So I did it accidentally. All right, here we go. Commit to delivering value. Let's read from the book. Now it's time to commit to creating a certain number of value-oriented posts per day. That's right. If you want to be effective on social media, you should be posting daily. Some people take weekends off, up to you, but the minimum, ideally, is posting five days a week. Okay. What do we mean by value-oriented posts? We mean delivering content that is of perceived value to your target audience with no expectation of immediate return. So that means no links, no mention of your company. That means no mention of your product. That means no sales hype. Ground floor opportunity, no competition, it's super easy, etc. Only valuable posts. 
as determined in the mind of the audience you are trying to influence, and you must determine the number of posts you intend to create per day and per week to ensure that you're not only delivering value, but you are doing it consistently. Okay, last one. Do you need to go public with your commitment? Do you need to tell your audience that they can expect a post on certain days and no certain times? No, but you do need to have an internal number of posts that you are committed to doing. So for me, I challenge myself to do one video every single day. That was it. And so for me, that worked. Doing a video every single day where people felt safe to come and learn something that was going to make a difference in their life. So that's what me, that's what I'm trying to do right now. It's just try to help bring some value into your world. Okay. Now let's talk about the next thing. The next thing to do is to, oh, I skipped one. <laughs> let's go back. Or did I not even do one? Oh, look at that. I didn't even do a number three. Okay. Well then I'm going to do a number three. So number three is posting for profits. Okay. Posting for profits. You know, watch this. I, this is a, this is a cool tool called Ecamm. And what you can do in Ecamm is you can on the fly change these, these little titles here, three posting for profits. Watch this. <coughs> Not neat. Look at that. So Ecamm, E-C-A-M-M. -M. Very cool. All right. So number three, posting for profits. When you post, it is possible to get people interested in what you have and begin buying from you. All right. <laughs> uh, it will take some time to build up an audience, but there is a way to do it strategically through your posts. But first, we want to tackle a myth, or more accurately, a misunderstanding. And that misunderstanding is that a lead is only someone who comes through a funnel. Okay, I love talking about this. So check it out. A lead is anybody that raises their hand by showing an interest, right? In what you've shared on social media. This could be someone who likes your posts, shares your posts, messages you, calls you, or simply comments. It doesn't matter. Anyone who shows interest in what you have is a lead, right? So how many times have you been putting a post thinking that nobody is interested in what you do, but you're missing all the likes and the comments? And so what I like to do is anytime someone posts or comments or likes on my posts, I like to message them and say, thank you. Even if all they did was a thumbs up or a heart, even if they're not the perfect customer for what I'm trying to do, I still thank them and like them and share with them and message them and say, hey, by the way, I'm trying to find people who want to do this thing. Do you know anybody? So I'm going to challenge you right now. Go through your social media and go find likes and comments and then message those people and say, thank you. And then say, hey, by the way, I'm in a challenge. I'm trying to help X amount of people solve this problem. Do you know anybody like that? You're doing a lot better on social media than you give yourself credit for. If you have likes or comments or even shares that you haven't messaged them and thanked them and then invited them. The last thing he says in here is the goal of any post is to get more people to show interest and raise their hands. Whether it's something on the product side or the business side. Remember, marketing is passive. And where you are posting or creating something you hope an unnamed individual reacts to or responds to while prospecting is you reaching out to an individual to see if they're open to what you have to offer. Don't just rely on who responds to your marketing. Be sure to get your prospecting numbers in as well. So when it comes to prospecting, you can actually take your social media posts and message them to people that you think might be interested in what you do and say, hey, I just put up this post on social media and I'm looking for people who have this problem. Do you know anybody that has that problem and would look for a, that you would refer to me? You know what I mean? And that's it. That's great prospecting. All right. So let's talk about one more thing. Number four is, of course, learn from the masters, right? So learn from the masters. I've been doing social media marketing and internet marketing for nine years now, and I've learned a few things. And so I try to share as much of those tips as possible. But my man Ray Higdon here is is just he was he was the one that taught me when I was first coming up and learning these stuff. So what I consider Ray a master, yes. And so my friends, you can get this book here on Amazon, Frequency Effective Social Media for Network Marketing. Uh, you can get that on Amazon, or you can get any other one of Ray's books, or you can join my live event. I'm doing a live uh, strengths and network marketing and video marketing training on September 17th, live from Salt Lake City. So if you get your tickets to this, you also get some bonus events. Tonight, Ray Higdon is going to teach you specifically how to use social media with very specific scripts. 
to find builders for your network marketing business. He's doing that tonight at 7 p.m. Mountain. If you can't make it, you will get the recording if you get the live stream or the in-person ticket to my live event on September 17th. So we're doing a bunch of trainings and support calls all the way up to September. Uh, and so his first training, how to find builders, is already available. You can go get that right now once you get your ticket. And uh, if you haven't got your ticket yet, get it now so you can get that. If you have gotten your ticket, make sure that you got the Zoom link for tonight at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And if you're watching this in the future, get your ticket to this because then you'll be able to get the recording. So have an awesome day. I hope this is really helpful for you all. I'm going to be sharing some more stuff from Ray's book as we build up to September 17th. I'm so freaking pumped. It's going to be amazing. Ray is going to be there. Uh, he's going to be doing leadership training, network marketing training. Uh, I've got a new speaker that's going to be doing video marketing training. I'll, I'll announce him soon. And then, of course, uh, for me, I'm going to be teaching you how to do this in your strengths. It's going to be an incredible event. We're going to have anywhere from, I think, 300 to 500 people there. We're aiming for 500. So I hope you get your tickets. I love you all. Have an awesome day. And share this video if it's helped you. And we'll see you all on the next one. Bye, everybody.